Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flexibility practice. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today laying down. If you do want to lay on a pillow or a block of some kind, feel free to do so. But you can also make a diamond shape with your legs to get into your hips a little bit. Laying on down. You can rest your arms at your sides, maybe letting your palms face up. Closing your eyes. And start to wiggle your toes, your fingers a little bit. And just finding a place where you can be comfortable for a few moments. Just allowing yourself to settle in, closing your eyes. You can take a nice deep breath in and let it go. Maybe making some last adjustments to how you are laying. And then soften your shoulders. Let's take another big breath in. And out. And one more nice deep inhale. Fill up with air. And let it go. Awesome, you guys. We're just going to take a few moments here to slow down. Scan your body. Feel your breath. And just noticing if there are any thoughts on your mind that maybe you can set off to the side. And just listen to the sound of your breath instead. Maybe breathing a little bit deeper if you've got a busy mind right now. feeling ready, I want you to start to just wiggle your toes a little bit, kind of the ankle. We're going to keep laying here, but we're going to move our legs. So you can slowly start to bring your knees together, your feet planting them on your mats. And you might just bring your feet right close together, your knees together. And then we're going to heel toe our feet out a little bit wider maybe all the way to the edges of your, of your mat, but maybe not quite that far. Keep your knees falling together. Maybe even point your toes in slightly, the heels out slightly, just rotating those hips a little bit. Relaxing through the upper body. And letting your knees fall together. You guys, with an inhale, just start to open your knees up. Bring your knees out wide. And you could even heel toe your feet a little bit wider if you wanted to. But just start to rock your knees side to side. Shake it out a little bit. Massage your low back. And then we're going to be letting our knees fall all the way over towards the left side. So they're probably going to hover. Or they might hit the floor. But just let them fall over to the left side. And you can keep your legs as they are, our knees are wide, our feet are wide, or you could cross your left foot over top of the right knee for a little extra. And as you gently encourage your right hip down towards your mat, hopefully we can feel a little outer quad, outer hip love here. Awesome, you guys. If you did cross your legs, just uncross them. Bring your left foot back to the edge of your mat. And with an inhale, bring the knees up. 
a little rock side to side. And then our knees can fall all the way over towards the right. Again, just let them hover above the floor. Maybe crossing your right foot over top of the left this time. Keep those shoulders heavy. The left hip might be lifting up a little bit. Try to bring it back down. Awesome work, you guys. If your legs are crossed, let that go. Use an inhale, bring your knees back up. Go for a little rock, side to side, massage your low back. You can start to heel toe your feet back together if you'd like. Maybe even pull your knees towards your chest. And then when you're feeling really good, we're gonna roll to the side or rock forwards, coming all the way up into our tabletop onto our hands and knees. From here, you might rock your hips just a couple more times, shaking things out, but we're gonna keep our hips nice and high, reaching our arms out in front for a puppy dog stretch. Bring some nice length into your arms and melt your chest all the way down. Let your forehead try to find your mat and then let your chest try to find your mat. Close your eyes, feel the shoulders, the upper back, maybe all the way down to the fingertips. Awesome, you guys. Take one more full breath here. Let your chest get heavier. And then using an inhale, we're going to slowly lift. Lift your forehead, your chest. Bring your hands in underneath your shoulders. Maybe take a shoulder roll. We're going to cross our ankles and come back to seated. Bringing our legs out in front. And you can start by having your knees nice and bent. You can give your, your knees a bit of a hug as you tip forwards a little bit, maybe a little rock side to side. And you can also send your legs out a little bit longer if you'd like, pointing your toes up towards the ceiling maybe. But with an inhale, lengthen through your spine. And with the exhale, you can fold forward. You can have a nice big bend through the knees. You can have some straight legs. You can relax your feet and ankles here, or you can point your toes up towards the ceiling. But just close your eyes, find your breath. And just kind of bring the chest down towards your knees. Creating that length through the low back as you try to bring your chest forwards a little bit more with each inhale. Awesome job, you guys. Take just one more breath here. And using an inhale as we slowly start to lift the upper body back up. Long spine. We're just going to move our legs. So we're going to cross our legs. <clears throat> so you can sit cross-legged here. We're going to move our arms a little bit. If you want to come into cow face, you could try to bring your knees on top of one another, squeezing the inner legs together. But I want you, you to be able to sit nice and tall and have free arms. We're gonna reach our arms out wide and then cross the left arm over top of the right. You can hang onto your shoulders or full eagle arms, bringing your palms together, getting into that upper back, into those shoulders. 
So just lift your elbows to about shoulder height. Drop your shoulders from your ears. We're sitting cross-legged or maybe in cow face legs. If you do want to add a tip forwards, if it feels good to do so, you can definitely do that. But give all the love to the upper back first. And then maybe a little extra to the hips if it feels good to do so with a little tip forward. Awesome, you guys, if you are folding, use an inhale as you slowly come back up to a nice long spine, unwind your arms and relax. Maybe take a shoulder roll. If you are crossing your legs, just cross them the other way. Cross them the other way or finding cow face with your opposite leg on top. Again, trying to stack those knees perhaps, inner legs coming together, scooch around a little bit, find that sweet spot. Inhales, you lengthen and exhale, ha. Crossing your right arm, right arm over top this time. Hug your shoulders or bringing your palms together. Lift the elbows slightly and drop the shoulders. Nicely done, you guys. If you do want to add a tip forwards, go for it. Maybe not. Just finding your breath. Nice job, you guys. Let's use an inhale. Come back up if you are tipping forwards. Exhale to unwind your arms and release. We can uncross our legs. Just plant your feet. Give your knees a hug. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to come back into a nice cross-legged seat. So maybe switching up which leg is in front one more time. But place your hands on your knees and take an inhale as you lengthen through your spine. With your exhale, ha, let your chin fall down towards your collarbone. Let your head be heavy. Take another inhale as you lengthen the spine again. The exhale, let your head get heavier. Soften your shoulders. And taking an inhale, we're going to roll our head over towards our right shoulder. Keep going till you find the nice length through the sides of your neck. And then as you inhale, sit taller. The exhale, soften your shoulders, let them get nice and heavy. Awesome, you guys. Stay for an inhale. Let the exhale roll your chin slowly back down. On an inhale, keep rolling your head over towards your left shoulder. Lengthen the spine again. Soften the shoulders. Awesome, you guys. One more inhale. Let the exhale bring your chin back down towards your collarbone. Pausing there again. And inhale, lengthen your spine one more time. Exhale, ha, shoulders soften. Head gets heavy. Beautiful, you guys. Use an inhale as you slowly lift your chin back up just to that neutral place. You want to add in a shoulder roll, add in a shoulder roll. Ah, you can bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine one last time. <laughs> awesome practice, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a really nice weekend. Namaste.